we could spend an hour, three hours, 10 hours on Peaky Blinders. As you can imagine, you want to open up a, a Pandora's box on the internet, ask the internet what their favorite Peaky Blinders scene is, as I did. Oh, did you? <laughs> 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 well, wow, what did you get? I got a lot. Uh, right. where, do, where do we even begin? Well, first, let's just talk about the phenomenon of Peaky Blinders, which I, I know you're very grateful for, and it means a lot to you. Um, that character, Tommy Shelby, has been immortalized on the body of Dave Bautista and many a people. You, By accident, apparently. Right? <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> apparently, that's what he said. That's hysterical. Yeah. Do you still see tattoos of, of Tommy every once in a while? Yep. Yep. How does that strike you when you know you, your face has been immortalized on a human being's body? I mean, it's 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 quite something, you know. <laughs> that's a, that's quite a level of uh, I don't know uh, zeitgeistism, whatever the <laughs> word is. But uh, yeah, there, I've seen some amazing tats, like of really really cool ones. Yeah. Um, so they're always be, like I'm, I'm very impressed and honored. Would you ever consider immortalizing? I feel like you would go with a musician if you were going to do any kind of figure from pop culture on your body, a tattoo. Probably a musician, yeah. Right. But I don't don't ask me who. But no. Not Bowie? I feel like Bowie keeps coming up. I just buy the records, you know. <laughs> You're good to get, but I know the music. And the yeah. records are enough. Yeah, they are kind of for me. <laughs> All right, so a few moments that jump out from Peaky Blinders. People, yeah. of course, talk about many wonderful scenes with Annabelle Wallace playing Grace, um, the I'll Break Your Heart already broken oh, yeah. exchange. Yeah. Do you remember reading that exchange and feeling like, oh, that's just heartbreaking, amazing dialogue? Great, yeah. great writing. Yeah. Great writing and uh, and really well directed and Annabelle was great in it and it, it was just a kind of a good scene. I remember the director cut that scene together and showed it to us and said, I think we got something special here. Do you feel that generally in the moment now at this point? Do you have kind of like that barometer on a set or not really? Generally, the default thing is, ah, I could have done that better. Like, you know, could, we could, could have nailed that more. There's other stuff we should have explored. That's always the way. I, I feel like if you finish a scene and you all are high-fiving. That's, yeah. That's a weird vibe. That's yeah. weird. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, and it doesn't get, it doesn't go away. It's, it's the same. Yeah. You know? End of season two, Tommy thinks he's meeting his maker. People always, of course, talk about this and, and that that walk away from the grave. Oh, yeah. Do you remember what's going on in your brain, in Tommy's brain, how you're processing that moment? I was just in, just in it, you know? I can't really recall. Yeah. It's quite a while ago, but I just remember being in it. Uh, it was almost like most normal people would be relieved to not be dead. I think he was relieved... No, he was wishing that he was dead, I think. Right. You know? Yeah. So so that was the distinction with him, I think. Um, uh, on a, a kind of a more trivial note, but but like a, a resonant note, no fucking fighting. It was just <laughs> yeah. like the meme of all memes. Yeah. You, know, you, love a, you love a good meme, Killian. <laughs> <laughs> um, talk to me, about, do you remember like, I mean, again, rewatching that, like how much of that is in the script of kind of like how you're going to kind of roam the room and get in people's faces? Is that kind of like found on the set in terms of the physical? I remember there was a stage direction in that scene and it said, this is the angriest we've ever seen Tommy Shelby. So again, that it gives you license to yeah. go, let's, let's go for it. Uh, and it was brilliantly written and, and it was kind of, it was funny, but it was also like he meant, he meant it. Do, do you know? Yeah. Uh, we had a brilliant director for that. Series, that series, Tim Meelan, who I've just made another movie with and going to do another movie with. So we were in really great hands there, that series. And so how, again, I know we, we've joked about this in the past, like you're, you're not plugged in. This is not your world, the internet. But like when something like that travels, how aware are, are you of it that like that's become a thing on the internet? Do oh, people you, send that to you? Do you? Oh, uh, yeah. That? Like my kids show me, show me. Show yeah, me. just so you know. Yeah. So you're aware. <laughs> And it's kind of yeah, it's it's it, it gets used for every uh, out of context, you know. Um, but it's just I think that's it's great. It's a great reflection on the show and on the writing and on the direction. Direction if that stuff lands like that. 